a FICO score, the algorithm that is used to create your FICO score, it's a mathematical algorithm, is 100% based on you having some interaction with debt. The type of debt you have, the amount of debt you have, how you repay the debt, uh, the speed at which you repay the debt, all of those kinds of things enter into your FICO score. So mathematically speaking, a FICO score is an I love debt score. And if you love debt a lot and you like paying it on time a lot and often, you'll have a very high I love debt score. Which means that other people that want to loan you money will love you because you love debt and they want you to get into debt. And so they love you. So your I love debt score is a wonderful thing to have if you love debt. Now, the trick is, what, what trap have you fallen into? What's the mythology that you've come to believe in order to get into this crap? The mythology that you've come to believe is, is that debt is a way to become wealthy. That's the mythology. The way I get stuff I want and the life I want is by using debt. Well, the borrower is slave to the lender, darling. And when you pay out hundreds of thousands of dollars for a false measure of financial success, you lose your ability to win with money. The FICO score does not indicate you have a net worth. You could be given $10 million tomorrow. You could put it in, a, in, a, in re, paid for real estate and mutual funds. It won't change your FICO score one point. I know because my FICO score doesn't exist. It's zero. I don't have a FICO score. Why? Because I haven't borrowed money, haven't had any interaction with debt in decades. And if I don't have any interaction with debt, you know, that means I didn't pay the bank interest. It means I didn't have somebody bearing down on me and getting ready to foreclose on me. I didn't have anybody threatening to come take stuff out of my house or threatening to take my paycheck away. I haven't been treated like a slave in a very long time. Consequently, since I don't love debt, my I love debt score is zero. So what's in your wallet, Dave? Money. Different kind of question. Thank you, Citibank. And I don't need some chic dude walking down through some commercial explaining to me how cool he is because he's got a credit card or based on the color of his plastic that he's cool. If your self-esteem is based on the color of your plastic, you're what's known as stupid and shallow. Do I need to repeat that? Was that unclear? If your self-esteem is based on the color of your plastic, you're stupid and shallow. You don't have anything to base your self-esteem on. It's like basing your self-esteem on the car you drive. Oh, my gosh. Why would you ever do that? I mean, I don't mind you getting a nice car, but if that's what you're all about, if you're defined by your vehicle, well, you're stupid and shallow. It's unbelievable. And let me just tell you, stupid and shallow always equals broke, too. It always comes with the territory. So decide what you want to be, wealthy or playing kissy face with the bank for the rest of your life. I can't seem to get ahead. All I do is work. Just pay payments. I work for the man. All the money comes in, all the money goes out. But I got a FICO score. Well, that's stupid. No wonder you're a rat in a wheel. No wonder you work for the man. Because you put yourself in bondage to the man. So break it, baby. Get the credit cards out and chop them up. It's time for plastic surgery. It's time to decide the car payment is the mantra of the middle class. I'm not going to have a car payment anymore. I'm going to own the freaking car. Why is this hard? This is the Dave Ramsey Show.